What is up guys, Del Boy here. So now all of the main three heavyweights have fights booked, I will now get these predictions out of the way. We will start with Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil. Dominic Brazil is Deontay Wilder's WBC mandatory challenger. And I've got to say, I do favour Deontay Wilder in a big way going into this fight. Both guys are big guys. Deontay Wilder listed as 6'7 with an 83 inch reach. Whereas Dominic Brazil is also listed as 6'7 but he has a 81 and a half inch reach. So Deontay Wilder does have a inch and a half reach advantage. Deontay Wilder has a record of 40 wins, 0 defeats, 1 draw. 39 of those 40 wins coming by way of knockout giving him a 95% knockout ratio, whereas Dominic Brazil has a record of 20 wins, 1 defeat, 0 draws, 18 of his 20 wins coming by way of knockout, which gives Dominic Brazil a respectable 86% knockout ratio. So both guys can clearly punch, but as we know, Deontay Wilder truly has that one hit quitter power. He's definitely the bigger puncher going into this fight, or he's the more prolific puncher going into this fight. Also, as I mentioned, you know, Deontay Wilder has a slightly longer reach, and I think that will play into this fight, to be honest. To me, Deontay Wilder, his best punches are his straight punches, so when he throws his jab, you know, it, it is actually a really good punch when he commits to it. He doesn't throw it nowhere near enough, but when he does, I think that's an effective punch. We saw that against Bermain's de Verne in their first fight, you know, that was his key punch that night. And since then, in his uh, subsequent fights, the jab hasn't been quite as prolific, but when he has thrown it in certain fights, the jab looks quite effective. So Wilder's jab, when he throws it, is a really good punch. And as we all know, that long right hand is Deontay Wilder's money punch. It's quick, it's powerful, and it's accurate. And he only needs one. That's his best punch, and arguably it is the best punch, or most dangerous punch, in the heavyweight division. And I think Deontay Wilder's straight punching is really going to play a factor in this fight. Dominic Brazil is a guy who likes to come forwards, he's fairly aggressive, and he throws a lot of wide clubbing shots. Um, you know, he tries to impose himself on you, he tries to walk you down. That's his style, and against a guy like Deontay Wilder, I don't think that style is really that effective. I think that style gives Deontay Wilder all of the opportunity he needs to land these big shots, to get you behind his jab and set you up for that long right hand. You know, if both guys throw at the same time, Deontay Wilder's punches are going to get there first because when you throw a punch straight in comparison to a guy throwing a wider punch, the straight punch is always going to get there first because it's got less less distance to travel, and obviously Wilder is also quicker, so I can see Deontay Wilder actually timing Brazil in between his punches with that long right hand. I think if he punches with Dominic Brazil, that punch is always going to get there first. Even when Brazil tries to throw straighter punches, especially his right hand, it's still wide. He's just got poor punch technique on those straight punches, and I think that will be his undoing in this fight. I just see him getting caught with a big right hand by Deontay Wilder. I think Wilder is going to counter, time him, and take him out. But also, Deontay Wilder, conceivably in this fight, I could actually see him, you know, using his feet, using his jab. Deontay Wilder has a lot quicker feet than Dominic Brazil. Brazil is quite slow coming forwards, he's lumbering, he's got slow hands. Whereas Wilder, his feet are actually fairly quick for a heavyweight. He's not always the most coordinated. He does kind of sometimes display bad footwork, but his feet are relatively quick. And if, Do if uh, Deontay Wilder can get behind a long, consistent jab, I could also see Deontay playing the long game, outpointing Dominic, Dominic Brazil, and then maybe taking him out down the stretch. I think there's a couple of ways Deontay Wilder can approach this. He can approach it safety first, you know, and getting behind that jab, or he can look for that counter early to finish Dominic Brazil. Um, I do believe, like I said, this fight favours Deontay Wilder in a big way. But there is a couple of things I am kind of intrigued about. 
Where is Deontay Wilder's head at right now? How's his confidence? I mean, let's be honest, in his last fight, he fought Tyson Fury, and most people with two eyes felt he lost. Is Wilder's confidence a bit down after that fight? You know, is he not feeling himself as much as he did a few months ago? And if Dominic Brazil can get a good start, maybe he can really make Deontay Wilder doubt himself. If, Dom if Dominic Brazil can land a couple of good shots early that get Wilder's attention, you know, it could turn into an interesting fight. Deontay Wilder, he's a, he's an, he's a, a very emotional character. So if, if uh, Brazil can drag him into a fight, take him off of a game plan, you know, then maybe Brazil has a good chance to land a big shot because Brazil can punch. He's a big lump, he's strong, he can punch, especially in that right hand. Um, so I think Dominic Brazil, he just needs to make this a rough and tough fight. I think he needs success early and he needs to get on top of Wilder. Brazil is a very big guy. He's weighed in at the mid 250s and even into the 260s. He needs to try and make that weight count. He's a much heavier guy than Deontay Wilder. In fact, I believe Deontay Wilder in his last fight weighed in at around 212 pounds. And, you know, I mean, conceivably, Dominic Brazil, he could have a 50 pound weight advantage in this fight. If that is the case, I think he needs to smother Deontay Wilder. Uh, you know, he needs to get on top of him, make it a rough and tough fight. Dominic Brazil can shorten up his punches on the inside. He can, he can land those clubbing punches around the side. And he, makes, he needs to make it a really horrible fight for Deontay Wilder. That's his only chance. I do actually think Brazil has the power to hurt Wilder. I'm not convinced by Wilder's chin. I mean, Ortiz had him badly hurt. Eric Molina made him do the stanky leg. And even Tyson Fury a couple of times in their fight, he hurt Deontay Wilder. Dominic Brazil definitely hits hard enough to hurt Wilder, but he needs to make it count. And yeah, I think his best chance is to get on the inside, to get on top of Wilder, smother, work on the inside, and, and yeah, try and drain him that way. But the, the issue with that is getting on the inside. You know, Dominic Brazil, very slow feet. I mean, can he get past Wilder's long punches? I can't see it. Like I said, if, if Brazil gets on the inside, then it could be interesting, but it's getting to the inside, that is Brazil's problem. He doesn't have quick feet to get on the inside, he can't slip and slide to get on the inside, he can't jab his way in. I mean, it's getting to the inside, that is Brazil's problem. And all in all, I just think this is a bad style clash for Dominic Brazil. Brazil is tough, Brazil is durable, but to me, he just offers Deontay Wilder far too many openings. And I expect Deontay Wilder to get the knockout win here in the mid-rounds. And yeah, I expect him to win this one fairly handily. Wouldn't be surprised if Wilder gets buzzed a couple of times, has a couple of issues here and there. But nevertheless, I expect Deontay to pull through here and get the knockout win. Share your thoughts below. What do you make of this fight? Who are you picking? Peace.